So a long, long, long time ago, before the wind, before the snow, as the Red Hot Chili Peppers would say, people have dreamt about holographic, cool glasses, wearable technology. And I was one of those people growing up as a kid. Loved Star Trek, loved everything about it, and could not wait for all that technology to finally catch up and hoping it would catch up in my lifetime. It's getting closer. It's, it's, it's almost here, peoples. So back in 2012, Google came up with an amazing product, or at least it looked amazing in the promo videos. I don't know if any of you remember those amazing videos to where Every time, every time, who would so? Great news, Richard Sayer, your federal what? Income tax is ready. Ooh, I don't know what that means. Okay, so uh, back to what I was talking about. Long, long, long time ago, I should probably shut this off real fast. Fingerprint scanner. Okay, power press. Power off. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. Google came out with a product that was amazing, but it wasn't as amazing as the commercial advertisements at Google I.O. made it seem. There was a pit, picture of this, a balcony, a beautiful woman out there moving her hands around, moving things out in space like weather, uh, road conditions and stuff like that. You thought that you were gonna see that through your eyes and you kind of were with this product right here, Google Glass. It has a small prism here and it all goes over your right eye and all that information would be put into that prism and you could look up and in, into the prism. It wasn't quite what I imagined. It worked great, still works great, incredible product, but it wasn't quite exactly what I wanted at the time. It, you know, you haven't you envision something Star Trekky, which that is, but not quite what you want. You you wanted to have hitchhiking ghosts from the haunted mansion and be able to place them anywhere. And, and you know, you wanted real holograms. That did not do holograms. That just did a head up heads up display that was transparent, and it, it worked great. It worked great, and, it, and I, I, I think I tracked over like 700,000 safe driving miles while wearing Google Glass. That, that was pretty impressive. Now, Google Glass aside, Facebook decided to merge with a company called Ray-Bans. Who's ever heard of that company before? I don't know. But uh, they came out with a thing called Ray-Ban Stories, which these are them. So far, this has been my most amazing tech I have gotten in 2021, was these Ray-Ban stories. Not only are they incredible, I purchased them in Oahu, Hawaii when I was there for like two weeks. So these, this pair holds a specific place in my heart just because of the location I purchased them at. And also they're pretty amazing. The, these things here are great. For the price, they can't be beat but there's no holographic images in these neither. They're smart glasses. They have dual cameras. They could answer phone calls, listen to text messages, respond to text messages, all that other stuff, but it's all done with voice, no visuals. Now, the next product that I'm about to show you should combine what these have along with what these have and merge and emerge into one incredible piece of glass, glasses, technology. So today I am doing a quick unboxing, just an unboxing, how the product looks, the stability, the strength, and all that other stuff. Just, just what it feels like when you first unbox it. It's not a first use review type video. But at the moment I have to wait for someone to arrive because they want to watch me open it up and they want to see what's inside the box. And uh, I'll talk about the price, where you can get these, how long it took me to get these because it took forever because they were on back order. And uh, surprisingly, I'm home today for a few hours and they came. 
they came when I was here. Anyway, wait for Steph stuck in a truck because she wants to see me unzip this and pull them out. And uh, we shall continue on. Give me a minute. So Steph stuck in a truck is here. She's not blocking the camera. She's sitting off to the side and she was kind enough to stop by the truck stop. This is why she was gone. She was gone, get me some coffee. All right, so let's jump right into this. I am excited, hope you're excited. Let's uh, undo this tape. Now, I ordered this back in December. I think it was December 2nd. And they said it would be here in two days. Here it is, a month. What is the date today, Steph stuck in a truck? It, oh, I gotta watch. To, today's the 27th of January. So it's taken a lot more than two days. I communicated with the Enreal company. This is this is here is this product is made by the letter N, the word real, all one word, Enreal. Communicated with them, and uh, I was not able to process uh, anything and get anything shipped from them. But they said, "Don't worry," and they are available at Verizon stores. At least twenty Verizon stores across the nation. Out of the thousands of Verizon stores, only twenty of them had this product. Still couldn't get it but it went up on the website for a short time and I jumped on it. I contacted Verizon, said I need these in my life. And uh, they said, well, two days shipping. I should have it within two days, it never happened. They said uh, after like two weeks, I communicated with them and they said, oh, we're on back order. And I said, why didn't you change that on the website? And uh, I still don't think it's changed on the website, but this product can be ordered through Verizon. I might have said Amazon earlier. I don't know why, if I did. Did I? I think maybe. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and review this video. So, I actually got this from Verizon and not the company in real. What is this? So, this here is ground stuff for returns if I want to return it, I'm assuming. So, I'm going to keep the box in case I'm not happy with the product. I have a return label that I will keep and uh, some paperwork. Okay, you guys seen the Google Glass? You seen the price? Oh no, you didn't see the price on Google Glass. The Google Glass, I think, fifteen hundred dollars for the for those Google Glasses up there. The Ray Ban Stories, two ninety nine, I think. $2 so you can pick and choose. You don't have to have full on computer visual stuff if you want the Ray Bans. They work amazing. They're my favorite product of the year so far. Google Glass. This year? Yeah, I think I think my Ray Bans are. That was last year. Twenty. Yeah, it is last year. <laughs> Twenty twenty one. So this product here is going to cost you a total. If you order from the website, there's zero tax. They ship for free. I think it's five ninety nine. But if you you know depending on your state taxes, if you order them online or or through Verizon or something like that, they're going to throw that tax in there. So they it, it depending on where you live that is so you're looking at 5.99 with zero tax if you order from the company and this is the amazing box they come in let's see if i could zoom in from across the room on this product oh technology gotta love it so it has these cool little rainbow effects high high low graphics very holographic and here let's go ahead and open this up a little bit and uh see what's inside should have probably grabbed a razor blade for this paper. I got my knife. Uh, it's too late. I got it open now. Oop. Oop. I love unboxing stuff. I hate the mag when the, the cellophane or this paper stuff becomes magnetic and you can't drop it and it just sticks to you elect electric wise. And now stick into the table. So now you even get a better look of that cool rainbow effect on this. Um, on the side of the box, it says inside here, we have the brand is in real. Let's see if we can show you guys that. Let me look at some of this stuff. Actually, I think it is on the box too, in real. So if you guys wanna check that out in here, we have uh, the dimensions, uh, which they're glasses, so I don't know. They're 3.7 ounces, input is DC. 5 volt, 15 amp, manufacturer is, uh, wow, is my eyes that bad? I can't read black. Matrixed Reality Technology. And uh, 
let's see, contents in real light, nose packs for VR cover because you can put a cover on these that uh, block out all the light because they're like normal sunglasses, but they got a cover you could put on and you could play virtual reality with them too. So, I mean, not, I'm sure they're, it's not as good as virtual reality is like, like what comes in an Oculus Quest, but it's, it, you know, it is what it is. Lens frames, clip, glass case, and glass cleaning cloth, which you can never have. Cleaning cloths have, back for a while, they were very similar to your charging cable bricks. Every, ooh, that slid out nicely. Box fart. Um, but then they stopped putting cleaning cloths and things. Just much like when you buy cell phones, you don't get the, the bricks anymore. So inside here, we have the, there's a case right here, so let's pop out this case. Very reminiscent of what my Ray-Bans are like. It's a it's a very Ray-Ban-y case, except I don't believe these are a charging case because these glasses actually don't need to be charged. Uh, from my understanding, they connect to your cell phone via a cable. And this is not, you don't get to see the glasses right off the bat when you unzip it because there is a protective thing here, but the glasses are in there. Ooh, they're not really that heavy. They're, they're, they're not that heavy. Uh, and they already come connected to a cord. I know Samsung, Apple, and some other companies um, are making these now or getting, getting ready to start making them. And I've seen a lot of the prototypes where the cable is a micro USB and uh, you can unplug it from your glasses and just wear the glasses. These ones here come, wow, nice. Come with it already pre-installed, nice thick cable. It's wired into the frame, into the arm. I'm assuming, um, I'm assuming that a lot of the tech is in here too. Um, so we got speakers, let's, let's zoom in here on these things, shall we? So we got, uh, so you can see it, it goes right into the top here. It's really sturdy and really strong. It looks like underneath the arms, you get two speakers for, for um, spatial, I, I don't know what they call all that stuff. I'm not into it, but look at that. These are, let me see, I haven't seen these from the front. Let's see. Okay, before I talk about them, okay, so cool. You're probably not going to be able to see all this. Looks like there's two cameras for recognizing where you're at so it can map your area because this thing maps, knows where your tables are, your furniture is and stuff like that. Then you have uh, some sort of another camera here, which I'm assuming is your distance where it can measure how far you are away from things, you know, uh, for perfect holographic placement. And then here there's another sensor, not exactly sure what that is on the inside of the glasses here it looks like there's another sensor here if it's like anything that i have had in the past i'm sure that is to um know when they're on your head when they're i'm, I'm assuming that's what that is it, it knows when it's on your noggin knows when to turn on turn off that's what most of those things are um it is weird on the inside i've seen lots of videos on these where it looks like um <coughs> see if i could do this without touching it on videos I've seen in the past, up here where you, uh, above your eyes, it looked like it protruded out and it was some sort of uh, thing that that projects onto the lenses, but it's not like that. The glass here is actually angled, kind of it's angled outwards towards your eye more and then goes underneath this thing and, it, and it's built fairly solid. Um, it looks like the field of view is pretty wide. There is like a bath, you know how like on iPhones they have that bathtub thing at the top of the phone? There is that on both lenses above your eyes a little bit. But I don't think it, it, you're even gonna notice it once they're on. So wow, these here are what I've dreamt up my whole life. This is what I thought Google Glass was gonna, at least in my head right now, even though I haven't turned these on yet or plugged them into my my phone which it uses your phone's computing process to operate these things um i could just imagine what it's going to be like and if these are anything like what i envisioned what google glass was supposed to be i think i'm going to be really happy 
stuff stuck in a truck, you want to hold them and look. Yeah, but uh, you might want to interject that before they buy it, they should check and make sure it's compatible with their phone software. That's a good call because these things do not work with every phone out there. Let's scroll you guys out a little bit. If you have a Samsung device, one of the newer ones like S20 up, it's going to work except for the flip. It doesn't work with the flip phones. The, I think it works with the fold, but it does not work with the flip for some reason. The flip has all the technology to do it, chips and everything, but for some reason it's not on the list. Uh, Oppo phones, Oppo Find and stuff like that works great. Uh, definitely before you waste the money on something like this or blow the money because you're an early adopter, um, make sure that your phone is on the list. I know more phones are coming up at least the website says so your if your phone isn't there now it may be in the future i don't believe it works with ios so if you have an iphone i think you're out of luck have you read that they were already out of luck because they bought an iphone exactly so uh yeah. samsung devices great everything else let's see what else is in the box shall we well steph plays I with that i haven't even put them on yet <laughs> no don't put them no you got makeup you're a girl you got makeup make on. on i don't need makeup on but got, they feel really solid, like not at all flimsy in any way. They, these, they fold. I like that. That's nice. Uh oh, I hit a button. Oh, I don't do Type it. C. Um, really thick cable. All right, let's see what else is in the box. Hmm. While you hold those and be jealous because you go, oh, you know what? Get those back. <laughs> Get those back. They're... The box is really nice. Yeah, these are going back in here. You trying to. What are you doing with my new toys? All right, let's see what else is in the box. All right, so we got the cradle that the phone case came in. Ooh, there's a much, much more in here. I'm assuming this here is paperwork, maybe a sticker, an in real sticker. I don't know. Something from the FCC. We got a cleaning cloth. Cleaning cloth. I love my cleaning cloths. Uh, disclaimer, safety guidelines, blah, blah, blah. Nothing else in that. There's more stuff in here though. Ooh. So here we got our, our VR cover in the, in here. So you put these on the front of the glasses and then you can play virtual reality games because it will block out all light because right now they're like sunglasses, but you can cover up the sunglass part with this and, nice. and, uh, play some virtual reality. That'd be nice. You get uh, different nose clips, depending if you got a big nose like me or a small nose and you snap those on to, to fit. That's nice. That's a nice feature. So it is a nice feature. It is a nice feature, stuff stuck in a truck. I wish my Ray-Ban Stories had uh, different and size nose clips available because it's a little bit big for my little tiny pointy nose. You do got a pointy nose. Thank you. All right, well, that's about it. That's all that comes in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug these in, play with it for a little bit, and maybe in the future do a review video on this and tell you my thoughts, whether it's worth getting or using that return slip and sending them back. And and uh, because $599 isn't a lot of money, but it is a lot of money. I mean, there's a lot you could do with $599. You wouldn't send them back unless they bricked. How do you know I wouldn't send them back? You love gadgets. I do love gadgets. Anyway, until the next time, guys, I love you all. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe if you would, and I will see you from down the road, hopefully with uh, an amazing pair of glasses on my noggin other than my Ray-Bans and Google. Peace out, everybody.